This weekend we are staying in what may be the best campground in the nation. This is the KOA Resort in West Glacier, Montana. We're George and Chris. Just over a month ago, we started a year-long RV trip across North America. These first few weeks have definitely been a crash course in RVing. We've dealt with flat tires, the joys of dumping sewage. It smells so bad. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't want to be your cameraman right now. Smells of unknown there causes. Is, there is a stench coming from inside. Hot nights. Look, the high today was 105. <laughs> and it currently feels like that inside of the camper. Almost getting stuck. Oh, that does not sound good. And much more. But it's also been filled with gorgeous sunrises, breathtaking sights, hysterical moments, and memories we will never forget. After spending some time exploring Banff National Park in Canada, we have headed south into Montana to explore what has been referred to as the crown of the continent, Glacier National Park. Today is the day we check into our new campground for the weekend. We've been boondocking for the past 10 days, so we're excited for a few reasons. We're gonna have full hookups, water, sewage, and electrical. We're gonna be around other RVers, and we're gonna have access to tons of amenities like pools, Wi-Fi, laundry rooms, restaurants, cafes, coffee bars, you name it, their website says that they have it. But at this moment, what excites me the most is, you guessed it, showers. Rub good and I think I got a scrub. Having a water and sewage hookup means we're gonna be able to take our first hot shower in two weeks. If you missed our last video, you know that we've been showering using baby wipes and a glacial river. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, breathe. That shiz is cold. <laughs> For us right now, a hot shower sounds like a five-star luxury. I am so excited. Let's get packed up and get on the road. Our friend Daryl let us borrow his drill for our trip. I was finally able to find this adapter and now I can bring up our stabilizers via drill. Super cool. because we've seen all these cherry signs everywhere in Flathead, Flathead cherries. Every single turn you look, there's a sign for them. So we're gonna get some of these cherries and see what all the fuss is about. We got half a pound of the red cherries and half a pound of the rainier cherries, which are like the yellow ones. And for some reason, one of life's joys is getting fruit at a produce stand. It makes me happy. So let's give them a try. Mmm. Ooh, these are like nice and tart, really juicy. These are supposed to be sweeter. That's what the girl at the stand said. Mmm, so good. All right, it's off to the West Glacier KOA. Let's go. So excited to act to go to an actual campsite and honestly I'm really excited about a hot shower <laughs> normally that's something George would be more excited about but um, I, I need a shower I need a shower okay we just checked in and I don't know why all these like little like kitschy things make me really happy like an activities itinerary and the maps I just like it feels like we're staying at like a Disney World or something I'm so excited we're about to go check into our spot we're spot number five so let's go pull her in Oh, there is 
there is a stench coming from inside. <laughs> There's nothing to humble you quite like RV life. We're like, oh, we're getting into this fancy campground. We're so fancy. And then we open the door. We're gonna need to do something about that. Oh, it's bad. It's, it's the worst it's ever smelled in here. <laughs> what happened? It didn't smell like that this morning. Well, we are all settled into our campsite for the evening. We took a little bit of a bike ride around the park to get a lay of the land for our tour tomorrow. But right now I have one thing on my mind and that is a hot shower. Our first hot shower in almost two weeks. This is the longest I've ever gone in my so adult excited. life without a shower. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this excited to take a shower. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing! <laughs> I am a new man right now. There is not much that will make you more grateful for a hot shower than being off grid for 10 days. And I know that's not even a long amount of time. I know it's it seems so trivial, but I was truly grateful for what just happened in there. <laughs> Your turn. I don't know why I just heard Christmas music start playing as Chris got in the shower. It's Silver Bells by Michael. <laughs> I can't play it because it'll be copyrighted, but listen real quick. As you can see, we're not kidding. We were both very excited about these hot showers. Ah, I feel so good. It's time to go to bed. We're fresh, we're clean, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for the grand tour. This is the KOA Resort in West Glacier, Montana. This property has 154 RV sites, 21 tent sites, 29 camping cabins, and 22 deluxe cabins, making that 227 sites total on 45 acres. When you go to book your stay on the website, you'll notice there are several RV sites to choose from. The main ones we've seen are the basic back-end pull-through, the pull-through deluxe with landscaping for a little more privacy, and the deluxe with a beautiful patio. All of these have a fire pit and a picnic table. Every site has a good view, but some have the best views. When you first turn into the property, there are two large check-in staging areas right next to the registration desk and general store. There is a reason they call us a KOA resort. When we first pulled into the park, what blew me away was the gorgeous landscaping. There are flowers everywhere you look. It is simply stunning. Don't worry, we're going to show you the site we chose a little bit later, but right now let's go tour the amenities. This resort offers two pools. One is a family pool for all ages and the other one is an adult only pool so you have to be 18 years or older to enter and they have two hot tubs plus look at this view. Guys, this place is so beautiful. Everywhere I turn, I'm just amazed. We haven't stayed in many campgrounds so far but this one's gonna be tough to beat. There's also a general store that offers souvenirs, groceries, and convenience items. And look at all the huckleberry stuff. They have a fun recreation area with yard games like cornhole. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to make it. Uh, a playground for the kiddos. <laughs> the kiddos. <laughs> a soccer field. And a volleyball court. Let's just say I'm not the greatest at volleyball. And they have multiple bathrooms with plenty of clean showers. And a dishwashing sink. A one mile walking trail. Two dog parks. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Look at him sit down. <laughs> and last we have a 24 hour laundry facility. Now let's move on to the eateries. Right behind me, we have a Montana barbecue restaurant that is open for dinner called Fireside Grill. We actually ate here last night and we had some ribs and mac and cheese. And in the mornings, it turns into a breakfast spot called Lazy Bear Cafe. Taking a quick break from the tour because we gotta eat some breakfast. So we have pancakes, bacon, and a huckleberry bear claw. Well, let's dig in. Oh, that is crisp. Mm. Cook to perfection. If you don't already know, this area is known for their huckleberry treats. And right here we have a huckleberry bear claw. Huckleberry is so good. I, I've said this before, but it's like a blackberry and a blueberry. Got together, fell in love, and made a baby. So good. Right next to the restaurant, they have a beer garden, which they call a bear garden. Get it? Bear garden, we're in Montana. 
with a beautiful seating area complete with lounge chairs and umbrellas. Located inside the Bear Garden, there's an Airstream, which they call the Bear Stream, that serves a variety of refreshing adult beverages. And finally, if you're craving something sweet, there's an ice cream shop on property called Scoops. That's it for the eateries, let's check out the activities board. They have several activities every week, including but not limited to live music, arts and crafts, and a magic show. And last on the tour is our campsite. Follow me. And over here we have a fire pit with two benches, our very own picnic table, full hookups. Let's get away before it starts to smell. We chose the pull through landscape site because although we do have neighbors, it does offer a little bit more privacy. It's beautiful and we have our very own Christmas tree. And the very best part, the view. I mean, look at that. That's it for the tour of the West Glacier KOA, and for the rest of the day, we're gonna hang out, sit back, relax, and enjoy the campground. If you wanna talk numbers, stick around, because next we're gonna be discussing what exactly everything costs. Today is unfortunately our last morning here and as promised, we're gonna talk numbers. How much did this cost? Was it worth it? But first, there is something I need to do. So just give me a second and then we're gonna talk those numbers. This campsite cost us $148 per night. We paid $27 for our barbecue dinner and $18 for our breakfast, which brings us to a total of $341. That is how much we paid to stay at the West Glacier KOA Resort. Was it worth it? You're asking right now, was it worth it? Was it worth it? I'm asking you. <laughs> Well, don't mind my unfinished eyebrows. <laughs> um, for me, a way to make it worth it, which is what we've been doing, is boondocking in between your more expensive campsites. So because we spent the last 10 days paying nothing, I think it was worth it. Now, if we were doing campsites all the time, I feel like it's too much money to pay, but we had a great experience, we had a great weekend, and so for me, it was worth it. I would say for me, it was worth it as well. Would I make it a regular thing? No, but it was a nice special occasion. It would be really fun to actually come back with maybe a, a family or friend, another rig, just to be able to enjoy these amenities with, um, but we did have a great time. The only thing that to us was not really worth it was that $27 barbecue dinner. Just to be transparent with you, it was okay. Would not do it again, but everything else was $2,000 thumbs up would absolutely do it all over again. But back to the original premise of this video, do we think this is the number one campground in the USA? Honestly, it's the best one I've ever seen. It is gorgeous. <laughs> we've only been on the road a month. <laughs> this is only our fifth campground. <laughs> um, we've been camping with friends and family before, but this is by far the most beautiful one I've ever seen, and I absolutely loved it. Is it the number one campground in the USA? I'm sure across the nation there might be campgrounds that have more sites, more property, more amenities, but I will say when you include the whole package, the number of sites, the number of amenities, the number of beautiful views, your proximity to one of the most gorgeous places on the entire planet, yes, I would say this could absolutely be in the running for number one campground in the USA. But if you know a campground that should be in the running for number one in the nation, please let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the road, happy trails.